Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Isabella Notando and this is a channel where you're all about growth, motivation and encouragement. And sometimes we do dig into hair, beauty, fashion and lifestyle. In today's video is a faith segment. I'm going to be telling you guys about how to study the Bible effectively. So if you're new here, welcome and I hope that you like this video and that you do end up subscribing. And if you're regular, regular, welcome back baby. So without further wasting of time, I'm just going to get right into that video. <music> your bible study journey or whatever it is but i actually don't think it's a journey i think it is a lifestyle so if you're about to start the bible reading bible studying lifestyle you are going to need a couple of things first so the first thing you're going to need is obviously a bible and i use the niv bible i've told you this before and you can get a soft copy bible if you've got a smartphone the fact that you're on youtube means that you can afford to get a smart bible that is on your phone and you can access it anytime in the morning evening afternoon any day and then the next thing you're going to need is a journal i finished the other journal and i've got a new one so that is the next thing that you're going to need and a simple pen guys a simple pen so yeah, those are the things that you're going to need for you to start your Bible studying. I life. study the Bible in three ways. So I'm going to tell you guys about the way in which I study, how I study, and how it actually helps me. So the first way that I study the Bible is by just going into the Word. And I do this usually by having like a Bible challenge. Like this week, I'm going to read the book of Matthew. Or I'm going to read chapter 1 to 10 of Jeremiah this week. And by studying the word this way, personally for me, that's how I get my revelations. That's how I pray and be like, Lord, I am happy that you're giving me revelations through all these preachers that I'm listening to. But I would like for you to open up my mind, open up my heart and my spirit that you speak to me through this word. Because the word of God is alive and it is active and it is capable of doing so many things, a wide array of things. If, the, if you read the book of Hebrews, you will find out what the word can do. But yeah, so when I read the word directly, that is how I get most of my revelations. And it is very interesting and it's amazing because you like get to converse with God. You get to hear the voice of God clearly when you read the word directly. And that's the first way that I study the The second the way that I uh, study the Bible is by looking into myself and finding out what I need and what I'm going through. For example, if I'm sad and depressed, I will go online and type depression what the word says about it what does the word say about depression verses that talk about depression that's how i will get like verses that will link me up to get into my word and find out what god actually says about depression and then when i get those things then i'm now reading the bible right so throughout all these processes when i'm reading the bible if i get a revelation or i find something that i like like a powerful gem i'll get into my journal and i will note it down right I will jot down exactly what I've read from the Bible. So I type online um, what God says about gifts. Uh, how does God bless us? And then the the, uh, the, the online link links me to the verse um, James chapter 1 verse 17. It says every good and perfect gift comes from above, right? That is exactly what is on top of my journal. Then I'll go inside the journal and be like, every good and perfect gift comes from god and then i write down my feelings regarding that verse and how i would like god to bless me regarding that verse that is how i studied the bible and then later on when i'm praying i will just open that uh, part of my journal and read it out loud and like um affirm myself that every good and perfect gift comes from above so I understand that I have to be grateful if I've got a car I thank God that God thank you for this perfect gift that you gave me because it definitely came from you and that is how you uh, fulfill yourself by praying and um, staying in the spirit right so the third way in which I study is by Bible. using a devotion so a devotion works like this it is uh, divided into sections some devotions are actually for 365 days a year or seven days a week or 21 days in 21 days right so you open a chapter per day 
so the journal that i'm using currently does not have those kind of divisions it is the battlefield of the mind by joyce meyer and i really definitely love this book i've been reading it since the beginning of the year but i'm that person who likes to soak in information and knowledge uh, for as long as i can and whenever i feel like i'm ready to let the book go and get a new one then i'll definitely do so but for now this is where i am and i just open a chapter read it it's got verses obviously that link me to the bible and then i read the chapter i go into the bible and i find out what it's saying and then i'll sit down and start journaling telling god what i've read how i've understood it and um how i'm feeling about it and honestly your journal can actually serve as your prayer room for example if you don't have like a closet where you can go in or a bedroom where you can go in you can just sit down at the table and start journaling and you're actually praying and talking to god in that way so that's pretty much how i studied the bible and i've noticed that journaling really definitely makes it more effective because i even if you're in church if somebody says something you write down the verse and you write down the message and i actually was watching a video by another youtuber and she was saying that a verse has got most verses god gives you an instruction and then he gives you a promise so you go into your journal and you write down suppose you're reading the book of proverbs let's open the book of proverbs chapter 7 verse 1 says my son keep my words and store up my commands within you keep my commands and you will live guard my teachings as the apple of your eye so the instruction is my son keep my words and store up my commands within you that's the instruction so you open your journal divide the page and write instruction blessing so you write my son keep my words and store up my commands within you that's the instruction then what is god going to do for you if you do that he says keep my commands and you will live so god is going to give us life if we do exactly as he says so that's the blessing that comes by listening to the instruction you know the word of god says that obedience is better than sacrifice so do try as much as you can to look into the word and find out what god wants us to do what are his commands toward us what are we supposed to obey him in and then if he says do not steal you're right do not steal what is he going to do for me in return he's going to give me life he's going to keep me alive and everything i'm looking for another verse uh the book of psalms chapter one also says verse three uh, blessed is the one who does not walk in the path of the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers but whose delight is in the law of the lord and who meditates on his lord day and night verse 3 says that person is like a tree planted by the streams of water which yields in which yields fruit sorry in season and whose leaf does not wither so whatever they do prospers so god has given us an instruction do not walk in the step of the wicked that's the instruction and after that has happened if i obey this instruction what is going to happen to you what is the blessing what is the result god says that you will be like a plant that is planted by the streams of water which yields fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever you do is going to prosper so if you write that down in your journal in journal god said a b and c when you read it out loud to yourself when you read it just sitting down you affirm yourself those are our words of affirmation the word of god is our words of affirmation as christians so we need to use it accordingly and effectively so that's how I study the Bible and that is how it is effective for me so that's how I use my journal that's how I use how I use my Bible and that's how I use the internet including devotions to study the Bible effectively so I also have a couple of things that I wanted to say before I end off this video the first thing is that you need to be consistent with reading the Bible and that is something that I'm also telling to myself every single day we need to set a time what time are you going to read the Bible? Is it going to be 6 a.m., 6.30, 7 a.m.? Stick to that time. Be consistent. Nurture your relationship with God by giving it the freedom of time, right? So I read my Bible every morning at 6 a.m. 6 to 6.30, I'm studying the Bible. The second thing is find a space. Find the table. Find the bedroom. A nice spot where you can just sit and meditate and talk to God. Because like every other relationship that we have, 
reading the Bible effectively and uh, having a relationship with God requires us to give it the freedom of time. You can't say that uh, I'm in love with a person that you never see. You need to spend time with them. You need to speak to them. And that is the same way that we need to nurture our relationship with and God. And then finally, after I read the Bible, how to make it more effective is by praying and believing that whatever I've read, whatever promises that God has made to me, whatever instructions that God has given to me, these things are meant to keep me alive. These things are meant to make me prosper. These things are meant to make me happy and to give me a future. So just trust and believe that God is and that God is able and that um, he wants what's best for you. So after we're done studying the Bible, just pray about it and talk to God and converse with God and meditate on those things. And let's not forget to act on the things that we've read because that is the hardest part of Christianity walking in the gospel because talking about it is easy so many people talk about the word of god so many people say they live according to the word of god but there's so much crime in the world there's so much pain and hurt and mean people so you learn these things be kind galatians says be kind and then you go out there and you be kind so pray about it and act on it so that is um all i have for you guys for today regarding reading the bible or studying the bible effectively i hope that you found this video very helpful to share with your people and subscribe to the channel because we are on the road to 500 subscribers so do give it a massive thumbs up subscribe and comment down below how you have found ways of studying the bible effectively because i am very interested to know and find out how you guys are doing this whole christianity thing yeah so yeah thank you so much again for watching i'll see you guys in my next video stay blessed